Hello, I wanted to talk about something that I've been practicing for a while now and it's made such a huge difference and it's about being a conscious observer, about observing your life, yourself, right? Being like you are, pretend somebody's walking around, you know, that you can't see but they're observing you all day and they're following you around. So notice what would they say, where would they say your focus is most of the time during the day, right? Uh, what are some of the other things that are what do you tend to react to things or do you tend to respond to things and how are you reacting and how are you responding to things that happen so I decide kind of like okay I know my past behaviors because of program conditioning and the way I've been and all of that defense mechanisms I've been a certain way so now I'm working on changing that um, to be in more of a, so I, I can stay in a state of more peace and calm and less frustration, less struggle, less res resistance. Because when we struggle, when we make things too hard, when we're overreacting, when we're, when we're reacting to things in such a dramatic way, right? When our emotions are up and down and all over the place, then we lose a lot of energy. It causes us to be so much more exhausted. Even if you're the type of person who pushes your energy down or pushes things down into your body, that can cause a lot of pain and discomfort within your body, which leads to illness and can lead to illness and disease, right? Repressed and suppressed emotions can also lead to depression. And so I've been noticing like, like I'm observing myself, my thoughts, my behaviors, my words, um, how I talk to myself, how I talk to others, how I think about things, how I react to circumstances and things that happen even the things I do, when I stop and I see, oh, I'm repeating a pattern. Oh, here I am going into victim mode. Oh, here I am about to sabotage. So I'm just walking around way more consciously and it's made a huge difference. Because you see yourself, you see and you're like, okay, now I can make a decision. Am I going to continue down this path? Am I going to continue with this behavior, this response, this reaction, whatever? Or do I want to be different? Right? How do I want to be in this moment? And it's really powerful because we are the ones who design, direct, create, attract, whatever things to us and our life. Basically, our inner, the way we are on our inner self is what's reflected on the outer self. So in our world and environment. So if you're looking and you're going, I don't know why I keep attracting this. I don't know why I can't stop doing this. I don't know why this keeps happening to me. All of those things. I don't do that anymore because I'm like, okay, let me observe. Let me see where this is coming from. Let me see how I am creating this. Let me see how I am making this happen, right? And causing my own distress and my own frustration, my own lack of energy, my all, because you are really the source of it all, right? Um, it's really powerful. Anyways, I, I really urge you to take some time and be um, an observer and be objective. That's the most important thing. You don't want to watch and beat yourself up and say, oh my God, you're being so stupid. Why are you doing this again? See, dummy, all those things. No, that is such a lower vibe. You want to come from a way higher vibration of love and compassion. We are human beings, you know, on this earth, the three, having a human experience. And I think now in this phase and stage of life, um, and the way the world is in the universe and how things are changing so much. We are noticing our shit more. So it's calling us all this stuff is going to come up for you to heal it, transform it, uh, let it go, release it. You know, all of that, right? You see it, you accept it. Oh my goodness, I see that I'm doing this. I see that. I Do I want to continue on this path? Do I want to continue repeating this? Do I want to continue um, this old habit? Do I want to continue these limiting beliefs? No. And then you get to choose what's going to be the new way for you. You need to have new habits, new words, new thoughts, new behaviors, and new beliefs for things in your environment, your life to change. All right, I hope that helps. <laughs>